Hey miners, Mining King here. Today, we're going to be checking out how to make a VM and use that for our core wallet. But before we get into that, here's a word from our sponsor. Fluxpools.net would like to announce a new weekly lottery for loyal miners that support their project. As you might already know, Fluxpools is operated by the people from the Flux team as they want to provide a safe and transparent mining experience. While the Flux project does not take directly from the pool, they do give a portion of the fees back to the Flux project because they understand that both the project and the miners are what makes this pool possible. Flux Pools has given away nearly 5,000 Flux a month back to miners. The new Flux lottery gives five lucky winners $50 each in Flux each week when you have a 95% uptime on your rig. There will also be a bi-weekly winner who maintains 99.5% uptime. That winner will receive 1.7 kilosols of hash rate for 48 hours to their wallet. Fluxpools has also announced a 0% mining fee and 1% parallel asset fee forever. This on top of the weekly loyalty program, you can also earn up to three flux per week. That giveaway prize will be sent directly to the mining address and nowhere else. Furthermore, fluxpools.net has just launched a Neoxa pool with a minor loyalty program where you can earn up to 1,000 Neoxa for up to one gigahash each week with 0% mining fee for the first 30 days. Please do not mine directly to an exchange as your rewards may be lost as a result. Come see why fluxpools.net is a great place to mine. All right, guys. So, you know, I've always talked about lots of things that, you know, your servers can do for you that you make besides just being a node, you know, going this route instead of just having a mini PC or a Pi. This could be a much, you know, you could have much more use cases with a server like this if you use Unraid, ESXi, or Proxmox. I do plan on doing a Proxmox review, so stay tuned for that. But today's video is going to be with Unraid. So in the crypto space, we are always looking for ways to keep our crypto safe and secure, as well as, you know, when new coins um, develop, that sometimes they're not always legitimate and we don't always know how legitimate they are, right, in their infancy. So a good way is to make a VM to hold these wallets or wallet and this way you don't have to put this on your physical like daily driver machine because what if there's something deep inside of this that's actually going to you know get your personal information give you some malware i mean who knows what happens right anything can happen nowadays so i think it's best that we use this as a way to keep our personal information safe so the first thing we need to do actually though is we need to download a docker called pasty and what this is going to do is is allow us to actually copy and paste things with our vms via you know whether we're using the uh vmware esxi gui or if we're using the um vnc remote in right here i did do some testing with um remote desktop and i ran into quite a few issues in getting you know the internet explorers like firefox and chrome to work through the remote desktop. Um, to me, the VNC and the GUI with, you know, VMware is just much more reliable and it doesn't cause as much issues. But the problem with that though, is you're not able to copy and paste, which can be tough when you're trying to do like seed phrases and things like that. So let's go ahead and let's uh, go over to the app section and let's go find paste. One of the nice things about Unraids is, is they have this section here, the apps. So there's lots of dockers that you can install in this, I would say, like app marketplace. And they're very, they're quite useful. So we're going to look up Pasty. And it already came up. It's the only one. It's kind of weird. It looks like the Photoshop symbol, but it's like, you know, hand drawn. We're going to click install. And then it's going to ask, you know, like your your container pour, you know, where where you want this to be installed and all this other things like that. But we're just going to hit apply right here. And now we're gonna wait for it to download and install everything. So it'll take a few minutes. Now we're gonna come back to our dashboard here. And now you can see in our Docker container section that Pasty is now installed. So we're gonna click on it. And then we're gonna to go to the web UI, which is opening another window. And now here you could obviously see you have a new paste. The way that this is gonna work, essentially how you're gonna paste this, you're gonna to have to come to this address with this port inside of your VM and it will bring you to this page 
So this way you can see the copy and paste. We're going to go over to our flux nodes and I'm going to start a new VM. Now, um, I was doing quite a bit of practice with this, finding lightweight distros for Linux. I tried, um, the ones that I kind of looked at where it was Majaro, um, and then the uh, X uh, CFE for uh, X Ubuntu, um, which is the X Ubuntu was the one I was actually using um, quite a bit. And then this one actually got recommended to me by Mr. Mad Electron. So huge shout out to Mad. Um, it actually runs quite well, and it does it does use pretty uh, very little resources. We're actually going to be using Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition. So it's a very um, lightweight distro. So we're going to to be able to get this VM here. If you haven't watched my Unraid video for Flux, I suggest you do that. I go over how to install Unraid, how to add your ISO image and stuff like that to your Unraid. But you will essentially have to you will have to come in here to your ISO image and um, use SMB. Uh, from your desktop and add the image to your Unraid server. So this way, when you create your VM, it, it actually has the disk image. So we're going to click Add VM. We're going to click Linux. We're going to have it auto start, and we're going to call it, uh, let's call it Wallet VM. Now, I'm not going to use these first four threads because I know I'm using that for my Nimbus. So we're going to come down here. And use these guys and I'm gonna give it uh, we'll give it six gigs of RAM right so on the on the machine part we're gonna use the i uh, 440 uh, FX uh, 6.2 we're gonna use the C BIOS and then under OS install ISO we're going to click Linux mint cinnamon we're then going to uh, use SATA and then I'm going to put, I will do 40 gigs. Pretty much it. So now we're going to hit create. And now it's going to bring up our screen. We're going to hit enter. So once you get into, you know, um, uh, Linux Mint, we're going to come up here to our settings. And then we're going to go to our screensaver. We're going to put this to never and turn these off. This way things don't go to sleep and that kind of stuff here. So then we're going to come down to display and let's go ahead and make it a little bit better um, ratio. What can we do here? Let's do, there we go. And let's see if this will work. There we go. That way it's a little bit bigger. Now we have our VM. Now let's go ahead and use the Firefox web browser. Okay, so we're in Firefox and let's just say you wanted to do a core wallet, right? We're just gonna use Meowcoin for this example since um, it's a core wallet and it seems to be pretty popular nowadays. We're over here at Meowcoin. We're gonna click our wallets. We're gonna click on the Meowcoin core wallet. And then we're going to come down to the Linux version because we are running Linux. Tell it to open it in the folder. Now we have the Qt here, and then we're going to click Extract. And I'm going to put it right, right there to the desktop. Now we're going to double click on our Meow coin here. And here we go. We're going to start our core wallet. And now we need to generate our seed phrase. But now we need to come in, into our. Uh, our Firefox, and what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna type in the local address for this, but with that port 5000, okay? And this should, now it brought us over to our pasty section, right? And we're gonna click new paste, and we'll call it, you know, MC wallet. So then we're going to paste in our, our wallet here, and then we're gonna click paste. Okay, now look. Now you can see it's here and then we're going to, now we're on my actual, this is my, you know, uh, Microsoft Edge on my desktop, right? We're going to click refresh and here we go. We have the seed phrase here on the, over our 
our Docker container, which is for over our network. So now I can actually copy this and I could put it in a text file, save it up, you know, to, you know, into the cloud and maybe print a copy out, put it on my, you know, in my safe. Okay, guys. So here we are. We have the wallet working. It's uh, syncing up right now to the blockchain, which can everybody's, you know, mileage can vary on this. But uh, I wanted to do this video to show you guys how to be able to make a VM on your Unraid server. And this, you could easily do this with ESXi as well, since we're just, you know, making a, uh, a VM here. You will have to install Pasty if you are only using ESXi. But I think doing this through Unraid with the Dockers is very, very useful as it lets us copy and paste things. Let me know down below what you guys think about this video. I thought it was a very interesting video to show you guys how to make a VM on a lightweight distro. Um, but yeah, give me your guys' thoughts down below. All right, guys, this is the money can giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.